My 600 Pound Life chronicles the journey of morbidly obese cast members who enter the show with a mission to lose weight and leave when it's accomplished. There is one member who is not just a constant fixture on the series, but also considered to be the real star of the show. Affectionately called Dr. Now, Dr. Yunin Nauzaradan is a general and vascular surgeon who became renowned for researching and developing cutting-edge laparoscopic procedures to treat morbidly obese patients. There's certainly more to the no-nonsense surgeon who not just transforms people's lives, but literally saves them. Here is the untold truth of Dr. Now. Fans have come to associate Dr. Now with the glitz, glamour, and fat paycheck that comes with being the star of a successful TV series. Like most people, the TLC star had a very humble start, quite different from the ultimate American life he is accustomed to now. Born in the Iranian capital on October 11, 1944, Dr. Now graduated from the University of Tehran with a Doctor of Medicine degree in 1970. He then moved to the United States to continue his training and has been working there for over five decades. Dr. Now is used to seeing plenty of drama on My 600 Pound Life, but surprisingly, his personal life is no different. In 2002, his then-wife Dolores McRedmond, with whom he shares three children, filed for divorce, ending their 27 years of marriage. The divorce was far from amicable, with both sides hurling accusations at each other. Dolores cited cruel treatment and insupportability in her claim, but Dr. Now fought back, counterclaiming insupportability as well. He was also accused of multiple charges, like hiding assets and claiming to be retired. Eventually, the court ruled in Dolores' favor and awarded her 70% of the couple's joint assets. The TLC viewers are familiar with Dr. Now's involvement in My 600 Pound Life, but they might be surprised to know that his son Jonathan also works as an executive producer for the reality program. Besides, Jonathan is the co-founder of Megalomania, a Texas-based production company that specializes in documentaries and documentary series. As per Austin Chronicle, the company's first success was World's Heaviest Woman, which showcased the story of Renee Williams, who weighed a whopping 841 pounds and became Dr. Now's patient after being turned away by 14 other doctors. Though she died of a heart attack only two weeks after getting bariatric surgery, the show's concept inspired various other reality programs, such as Half Ton Dad, Half Ton Mom, Half Ton Teen, among others. Jonathan confessed that it was Dr. Now who came up with the idea of My 600 Pound Life to help morbidly obese people. Megalomedia filmed several bariatric surgery patients over seven years, which was edited into the first season of My 600 Pound Life. Dr. Now has performed over 2,000 weight loss surgeries, some of which were considered to be the most challenging in the world. That's hardly surprising, since he is a pioneer of minimally invasive laparoscopic surgery. But working with overweight patients who are rejected by other bariatric surgeons as inoperable possesses its fair share of challenges, which he handles exceptionally well. Other bariatric surgeons have a maximum limit for a client's starting weight, and most don't operate on patients with a weight limit of 450 pounds. Most of the x-ray machines can't measure patients over that weight as well. He is so highly regarded that patients on the show who don't live within driving distance of his practice move to Houston to enroll in his year-long weight loss program. Many people might assume that Dr. Now is doing My 600 Pound Life for money and fame, but this couldn't be further from the truth. There have been numerous occasions when he hasn't earned a profit over the course of a patient's treatment despite working incredibly long hours. In an interview with Houstonia, the doctor confessed to working 12 to 14 hours a day and 7 days a week, so it's safe to conclude that Dr. Now is not just a selfless person, but also a total workaholic. As a world-famous celebrity surgeon, it shouldn't come as much of a surprise that Dr. Now boasts an impressive net worth, despite doing a lot of charitable treatments. He has been working in his field as a pioneer for over five decades, which along with his TV appearances and book deals have helped him amass a good fortune. His net worth is estimated to be over $4 million, but we are pretty sure his fortune would have been much higher if not for his costly divorce and his selfless acts. The multi-talented doctor has written two books on what he does best, tackling obesity. His books provide valuable insights along with the best tools to guide obese people in making the appropriate changes that are necessary to live a healthy life. His first book titled, Last Chance to Live, 
was published in 2017, and his second book, The Scale Does Not Lie, People Do, was published in 2019. Not many doctors can boast about treating a suspected murderer, but Dr. Now surely can. He helped to treat Mayra Rosales, officially the heaviest living woman at that time. She became the subject of media attention after confessing to killing her two-year-old nephew in 2008. However, it was later revealed to be a false confession, which she had created just to protect her sister Jamie, who was the real culprit. After Jamie's arrest, Mayra consulted Dr. Now for weight loss and to get her life back on track. Dr. Now has been the subject of numerous lawsuits, which is hardly surprising, as doctors and surgeons with such high-risk jobs are often slapped with malpractice lawsuits. And if you also happen to be a celebrity surgeon who has a huge fan following, the list becomes quite extensive. In 2007, Colleen Shepard tried to sue Dr. Now over the passing of her daughter Tina, following a gastric bypass procedure. After five years, another patient's wife hit a similar lawsuit against the famous surgeon. He denied both claims, and it seems they both were eventually dropped. In 2012, Dr. Now and his anesthesiologist were hit with a lawsuit by their patient Michelle Park, who allegedly had a close to 7-inch piece of tubing left inside her body, which ended up puncturing her colon. The suit was later dismissed for unknown reasons. That lawsuit was followed by another one in June 2017, when Dr. Now was sued for $250 million by a patient claiming he botched their abdominoplasty that resulted in a deformed abdomen and extreme pain. The accuser himself filed a request to dismiss the suit in 2018. The famed doctor was sued again in September 2017 by a 72-year-old woman claiming he left a stainless steel connector and tubing inside of her. She sought compensation between $200,000 and $1 million. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel for more great content.